Alicia Keys quotes. Love me like you'll never see me again. He broke my heart, and now it's raining, just to rub it in. I think we deserve people who really, really love us. Sometimes I feel like I don't belong anywhere, and it's gonna take so long for me to get to somewhere, sometimes I feel so heavy-hearted, but I can't explain cause I'm so guarded. But that's a lonely road to travel, and a heavy load to bear. And it's a long, long way to heaven but I gotta get there can you send an angel? Can you send me an angel, to guide me? Falling down ain't falling down. If you don't cry when you hit the floor, it's called the past cause I'm getting past, and I ain't nothing like I was before, you ought to see me now. Why give up before we try? Yes I was burned but I called it a lesson learned. Mistake overturned so I call it a lesson learned. My soul has returned so I call it a lesson learned, another lesson learned. No matter how far you are. No matter how long it takes him. Through distance and time I'll be waiting. Some people want it all but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you baby if I ain't got you baby some people want diamond rings some just want everything but everything means nothing if I ain't got you, yet. Everything's gonna be alright. Why give up before we try feel the lows before the highs clip our wings before we fly away I can't say I came prepared I'm suspended in the air won't you come be in the sky with me. Every moment is beautiful, delicious even. The most important thing to remember is that you can wear all the greatest clothes and all the greatest shoes, but you've got to have a good spirit on the inside. That's what's really going to make you look like you're ready to rock the world. Hand me the world on a silver platter, and what good would it be? It's hard to pinpoint the precise moment when we internalize others' assessments, it's usually not just a single experience but rather a series of moments that bruise the spirit and lead us to distrust ourselves and those around us. Growth requires movement. And often, the only way forward is through an exit door. Death is a gift meant to wake up the living, to nudge us toward a life of purpose and intention. Everything you want to be, you already are. You're simply on the path to discovering it. It has been about realizing that in order for the truth to set me free, I must first be brave enough to birth it. When life forces you to face yourself, what awaits in the mirror is a gift, vulnerability. Your heart is pierced. You're broken open. You're hyper aware of what you're feeling. And when I reveal my true heart, not everyone is going to approve. What I know now is that I don't need them to. Bliss is a beautiful destination, but you can often only reach its shores after a turning point. It's as if the universe is testing you to be sure you are strong enough to make it through the murky waters not just the serene ones, so that you can move to a new and unknown place in yourself. We adjust ourselves to fit, to adapt to others' ideas of who we should be. We shift ourselves not in sweeping pivots but in movements so tiny that they are hardly perceptible even in our view. Years can pass before we finally discover that after handing over our power, piece by small piece, we no longer even look like ourselves. It has been said that a girl grows up to choose a man who either bears a striking resemblance to her father, or one who is nothing like him. Both choices are, at their core, reactions. But from this side of life, I can see how every moment, every experience, every pivot, even my supposed missteps have been life's way of getting me where I have always been meant to go. Rather than resisting the current, I've learned to surrender. The world can be a challenging place for us women to navigate. We often find ourselves feeling burned out, incapable, and lonely and yet we're still so resilient. We don't draw loved ones into our lives coincidentally. 
they're there to shine a light on our unfinished emotional business, to reveal to us our deepest tendencies. And as my life is proving to me even now, those patterns appear time and again, often cleverly disguised. And they'll keep right on showing up until we're willing to truly look at them. We adjust ourselves to fit, to adapt to others' ideas of who we should be. We shift ourselves not in sweeping pivots, but in movements so tiny that they are hardly perceptible, even in our view. Years can pass before we finally discover that, after handing over our power piece by small piece, we no longer even look like ourselves. I definitely wanted freedom, but I wasn't yet ready to step into it, embody it, breathe it, own it. That though passageway came with a surprising revelation. When life forces you to face yourself, what awaits in the mirror is a gift, vulnerability. Your heart is pierced. You're broken open. You're hyper aware of what you're feeling. Dr. Yosef Benjakanese A 20-year-old with braids and beads, with a large helping of soul and a sprinkle of classical. There's too much darkness in the world. Everywhere you turn someone is trying to tear someone down in some way. Everywhere you go, there's a feeling of inadequacy, or a feeling that you're not good enough. I want to bring a certain light to the world. Often, the only way forward is through an exit door. Sometimes some lies can take a minute to fully realize his tears your eyes 30 seconds to apologize you give it one more chance just like the time before but he already know you'd give a hundred more until that night in bed you wake up in a sweat you're racing to the door can't take it anymore. The magic in any art is not only in its technique but in its authenticity. Truth in its rawest form is what resonates most powerfully. No feeling compares to having others love what you love, and then enthusiastically sharing it with others. Fame for the sake of fame had never been the dream. But spreading light is a pleasure I'll always live for. Can Chris Rock swing by tonight? And by the way, he's bringing David Blaine with him.